In this video, we're going to look at quantitative reasoning strategies with monetary rounding. As with all application questions, we're using the seven steps to solve an application. And these seven steps can be used for anything from beginning algebra all the way up to calculus and beyond. First, we want to read the entire question. Then we'll draw a picture where applicable. Next, we'll assign variables to the unknowns. Then we'll translate to an equation. We'll solve the equation, and then we'll check the answer to make sure it makes sense in the situation. And then we'll state the answer So let's talk about the uniqueness of a money scenario or money application. Whenever you're talking about money, and we're going to say a specific kind of money, dollars, it's assumed to be rounded to the nearest penny, unless otherwise stated. The penny, or pennies, is the hundredths place. So we'll say two decimal places. So keep that in mind when we're asking for uh, rounding to the nearest penny. In example one, the question states, throughout the semester, a student spends $5 and seven cents on lunch, three dollars and fifteen cents on snacks five days a week. The rest of her food is provided by her family. If she is making fourteen fifty per hour and she works ten hours per week, how much money has she saved over the sixteen week semester? So we want to know how much money she saved. So I'm going to highlight the money part. How much money? That's the question. So I'm going to probably use an M for that just as my variable. I don't really feel like a picture is going to help me understand this, but I do feel like I could list the different information out. I know that this person spends $5.07 on lunch and $3.15 on snacks. And I know that this happens five days a week. So costs per week are lunch times five plus snacks times five because that happens five days a week. If I wanted to figure out how much that is, I'd multiply the five dollars and seven cents by five and I'd add that to three dollars and fifteen cents times five. So you can pause the video to determine what that would be. Welcome back. You should get forty one dollars and ten cents per week that she is spending. Now let's look at the income per week. We know that she works for $14.50 per hour and she works 10 hours per week. So we can say $14.50 times 10 will give you the weekly amount she's making. If we put 1450 times 10 into our calculator, we should get $145 per week. Now, if we want to find out how much money she makes in a semester or a 16 week period, we would take this first amount, the costs, and multiply it by 16 weeks. So 16 weeks 
times the negative 41, 10. And then we would add 16 weeks times the amount she makes in a week, a positive 145. This is equal to the amount of money she makes over the course of a semester. Go ahead and put that in your calculator and then check back. Welcome back. The amount of money that she should make in a semester is $1,662.40. And that's rounded to two decimal places. In example two, we have a friend of yours who started a YouTube channel, and the YouTube channel was popular. He soon started making money on his channel, quickly averaging $375.25 each month. He's been saving for a Land Cruiser for six months now. He wants to purchase a 1986 Land Cruiser from Torfab in Everett, Washington for $36,000. $545. How long will he have to earn money on his channel to be able to afford a land cruiser? I'm going to list the different pieces of information again, just like before, because drawing a picture really probably wouldn't help too much. If we know the income per month, $375.25. We know that there's already been six months of savings. And we know that that was six times the amount he's making each month. So he already has that amount. He wants to purchase the Land Cruiser for $36,545. The question is how long will he have to earn money on his channel to be able to afford a Land Cruiser? So we'll say T for the number of months in time. So let's figure out how much money is coming from savings. Six times 375.25 is 2,251.25. So we can now write an equation with all our information. We know that 375.25 is the monthly amount he makes. So we'll multiply that by T, the number of months, until he's paid off his Land Cruiser. We, we know that this needs to equal the 36,545 but we know that he's already saved 2,251.50, so we can subtract that from the total. So this should be our equation. If I subtract that amount he's saved from the total, I should get 34,293.50. The 375, 25, I can divide both sides by that to isolate the T. T is equal to 91.34 months. <laughs> That's a long time. So if I want to figure out what that is in years, I just divide this by 12. And that would give me seven years and eight months. So that's my time until I can afford that land cruiser.